a production of theturtleroom.com. Education, conservation, survival. Graptomus oculifera is among the smallest of the map turtles. Males will only reach 2.8 to 4.3 inches SCL with a mean of 3.5 and a max of 4.3. Females will typically reach about 5.1 to 8.5 inches SCL with a mean of 6.2 and a max of 8.6. The carapace is light to dark olive green. It is moderately keeled with spine-like projections on the first four vertebrals, which become less pronounced with age, especially in females. The posterior edge of the carapace is mildly serrated. The primary identifying feature is the series of well-defined yellow to orange rings on each pleural scute. The dorsal surface of each marginal is marked with a broken circle, semicircle, or bar. There may be a small spot in the center of these markings, particularly in juveniles. The plastern can have great variation. Its base is yellow with varying amounts of dark patterning along the seams. The skin of the ringed map turtle is black with yellow markings. There are variable post-orbitals, one behind each eye, that are oval, rectangular, or round in shape. They are usually not connected with the longitudinal dorsal stripes from the neck, though it does occasionally happen. The chin and throat are marked with broad longitudinal stripes and a transverse bar or chin strap. Males will have narrower heads, slightly elongated foreclaws, and longer, wider tails with the cloacal opening half to two-thirds of the way down the tail and a more juvenile appearance. Females will have shorter, narrower tails and a slightly bulkier build, including their heads. The ringed map turtle is native to the Pearl River watershed of Mississippi and Louisiana. It occurs mainly in the Pearl River and its largest tributary, the Bogue Chito River. It occasionally appears in some of the smaller tributaries. The habitat of Graptomus oculifera has a moderate to fast current and contains a multitude of basking logs, sandbars, and a wide channel to allow sunlight in for most of the day. The river bottom of the preferred habitat is composed of clay, sand, and or gravel. The most common dietary item for the ringed map turtle is insects and insect larvae. Small snails are also consumed. Plant matter is a very small portion of their diet. Most plant matter consists of flowers of the Asteracea family or seeds resembling a frequently eaten beetle species. They will also feed on algae and other items growing on submerged logs. Very little information is available on the daily behavior of Graptomus oculifera. It is a diurnal species and spends many hours basking. While basking, they are skittish and difficult to approach without spooking them. Upon being startled, they will dive into the water immediately. Hatchlings have also been known to bask frequently. At night, they tend to rest just under the waterline on various surfaces offshore. Male ringed maps become sexually mature at approximately 2.6 inches plastron length. The minimum SCL of females at maturity is approximately 5.1 inches, but it is normally closer to 5.5. Nesting season typically runs from mid-May through mid-July, with a clear peak in mid-June. They lay most often during daylight hours before noon. Eggs are normally deposited on sandbars. Graptomus oculifera typically lays only one clutch per year, but occasionally two. The clutch consists of 1 to 10 eggs with an average of 3 to 4. The species is reported to demonstrate TSD1A like the rest of the Graptomus genus. A pivotal incubation temperature of between 84.2 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit has been reported. No description of courtship or mating is available, but they are assumed to be similar to the normal methods used by many of the Graptomus species. The IUCN Red List classifies Graptomus oculifera as vulnerable, last updated in 2011. The United States government classifies this species as endangered, which is one reason they are listed on the United States Endangered Species Act. Most threats to the ringed map turtle survival are habitat related and include pollution, degradation, and destruction. This species is also listed in Appendix 3 of Sites and is protected by the state governments in its native range, with the taking of wild specimens illegal in both Louisiana and Mississippi. Like many species, they need us those who have helped imperil them, to now aid them in a return to prominence in their native home. Please visit theturtleroom.com for more information on this and other exciting colonial species.